Planting my pumpkin. Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. Okay, and we're getting ready for Halloween. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a pumpkin out of some glue and some household things, which is kind of fun. Could also use it on your holiday table because it doesn't have a jack-o'-lantern face on it. Okay, so let's get started. You should ask for permission and you need to make sure you're covering your work area. This is a super messy project also. Maybe you could invite somebody to do this project with you because it's really fun. First of all, you're gonna use a recycled um, bag. You're gonna need some newspaper and a little bit of tape to make your pumpkin. So, um, there's reusable grocery bags. So we're gonna start like that. We've got newspaper from a whole bunch of friends. This is not an exact science. I think, okay, that was pretty good. Okay, then I'm gonna take the top of my bag. Look at that, Isn't that perfect. Take the top of my bag. I brought some tape. I'm going to take a little piece of tape there, and I'm going to make my stem. Again, I'm going to be covering it with paper and shape. Oh, I didn't have very good luck with my tape, but I think it'll work. Okay, like that, and then I twist. Did you twist the top? Yeah, I twisted the top. Look, and it can be. Um, you know, different shapes. You could have it be sort of just straight up. I kind of like it when it goes to the side, like when you go to the pumpkin patch and you pick up the pumpkin and the mm -hmm. stem goes like that. Right. On this one, I kind of put some lines like a pumpkin, but I don't know if it really matters. Okay. All right, there we have it. There's our pumpkin. We're going to use paper towels. Kind of check it out. These are those ones that you can make different sizes. I think I used about 10 on that one. Now you need watery glue. So I've mixed it ahead of time. I'm going to say it's about one cup of glue with about maybe a quarter of a cup of water. Now, you know my friend Miss Kate, she likes a messy project. I, on the other hand, prefer to protect my hands. Yes. Okay, now, gloves on, a paper towel. This is kind of a thick one, and I think it might work better if it is a little bit thicker paper towel. We're gonna go from the bottom up, because going from the top down, it didn't work so well. Okay, you're gonna make sure you cover all the parts of your paper towel. So I'm gonna put this here, like that, okay. All right, here we go. It was maybe on a Thursday, and then I was talking to Kate on Monday and I said, hey, is my pumpkin dry yet? She said, ah! But 
here's the most important thing. It will take a long time to dry if yes. it's not in a warm, hot area, as we learned. Okay, so there it is. It's kind of great. Now is going to be the fun part. Miss Kate would have to go to the sink and wash her hands, but look at this. Ba, 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 ba. I'm going to take our pumpkin and just leave them over here in the sun to dry. Hang on, it's going out into the sun to dry. It's oh my gosh, so, it dries so fast. Yes, it did. It was really hot in the sun. Check it out. It's very squishy, you can see, right? Mm -hmm. Now the we're going to paint our pumpkin. So I'm using acrylic. I think you could use any kind of paint that you like, but I am going to use acrylic because um, I'm thinking if you had it outside, it would not... Acrylic will seal it up and maybe it won't run. If you use temper and it rains, it could wash off. Okay, so also I found some golden paint, which is really cool. So I'm going to put that on the top. Okay, I'm just going to, I have a couple of different colors of orange because pumpkins are all different colors. And then you just are going to paint it up. The thing about acrylic paint, it dries pretty fast. Yes, it does. And there's kind of a porousness about this paper towel paper mache that it just, you can kind of see, like it just goes right in. I used a big paintbrush because I feel like I'm able to get into all those nooks and crannies. I'm using this one, it's kind of, um, I think it's just called orange. And this one is called terracotta. It's kind of like a brownie orange. Look at it. Like a terracotta pot. Yeah, like a terracotta pot. You look at this guy. See, he's painted already. He's got a little goldiness. So cool. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good. And hmm, because I only brought one paintbrush, this is brown. This one's called Burnt Umber. And I feel like I'm just going to try to get a little bit more. Do you think you could paint the stem green? Yes. Yeah. So it'd be still like when you just pull it off. Yeah. Green. Mine is a, like an old pumpkin. Okay, so there you go. That looks great. All right. And you could add a jack-o'-lantern face if you wanted to, right? Oh, you could add a jack-o'-lantern face. Check this out, too. If you wanted to get fancy, you could take, fine, if you had a pipe cleaner, and you could twizzle it, and you could add it to your pumpkin, and then it looks like a vine. Um, I think that's it. I showed you how to make a pumpkin out of a little shopping bag. Hey, oh, yeah. Daddy. Happy Halloween. And if you like our videos, you can follow us. We'd like that. Okay, take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye. Bye, friends.